what's good youtube this is mark and today i'm going to show you guys how to paint a portrait in photoshop well i've already made this video before on how to paint a portrait but that was really close to something you can learn from but not really in depth of exactly what you are really going to grab everything from so i decided to make a split video of my painting process giving you guys a step-by-step -step guide of how i paint a portrait in photoshop so this time i'm going to break this down into several parts maybe this might get to up to five parts or maybe less but all i know is that i'm going to do this in a way that you can pick almost every process i use in painting a portrait first we are going to start up with picking the colors i'm picking the colors blocking in all the solid colors applying the shadows and highlights blending the shadows and highlight and building the shadows and the last part is going to be the final touches i always give to my portrait so this time i'm going to take you guys through every single process but for this first part we are just going to learn how to pick the colors and how to apply the colors the first thing you need to do you need to have a sketch well if you don't have a sketch don't need to worry about that because i'm going to leave a link in the description where you are going to get the sketch on the screen the psd version of it but leave a link in the description you're going to get that you can make use of it or you can get any portrait reference of your choice which you really want to make use of and also i will be leaving the main photo reference there which you can also pick from that you are going to use so if you get your reference and your sketch artwork which you have made use of before or which you have already sketched down or you can make use of anyone you've used before or you can make a tracing of an outline just like just as i did in the previous video so import both of them into photoshop your reference and your sketch or your line art import both of them into photoshop like this and once you've imported them into photoshop and separate tab go over to windows when you go over to windows go to arrange and hit on float all in windows now when you click on that it's going to open up all it's going to float all the windows in photoshop for you to be able to uh, place them the way you want it to be now if you're familiar with my art you always know that i place my photoshop at windows side by side in a way that it's really going to be okay for me to paint now while selecting the main artwork i'm going to hit on ctrl zero to make it fit to the main size of the artwork as you can see right now so i'm just going to shift this to this part and this one i'm just going to put it right here and adjust it from on our part now sometimes i always want to make these windows equal and sometimes i just leave them and just paint that way as long as i can as long as i can see whatever it is that i want to paint but right now i'm just going to expand this a little bit and i'm just going to keep it somewhere around yeah this is okay you don't really need to be accurate about this you can just do it any way you want it so first thing we are going to be doing is to pick the colors which we'll be making use of so the main reference photo click on that tab and create a new layer above the background layer of the main reference photo now i've already showed you guys multiple ways of how to pick a skin tune the ones you can do in photoshop the ones you can make use of a plugin to do in photoshop and the one you can use with the adobe color team now any method of your choice you can make use of them that is if those ones is really going to be suitable for you but for this video i'm going to be making use of the color range option because it's really more accurate simple and straightforward for you to use so what you want to do is select the background layer and go over to select and color range now inside of the color range menu you don't really need to do anything much or stress yourself all you just have to do click where you have to select click on the drop down menu and select the shadows because first we are going for the shadows now click ok and it's going to select all the shadows for you on your on your or your reference photo now go down to your what the layer mask after making the selection go down to your layer part and on the layer marks button click on add layer mask now it's going to hide every other part except the shadows so right now we have the shadows grab your brush to at this point any brush to have your choice but i'm going to make use of the 
hard round grab a brush too on that layer which you've selected right here now you have to take note of something you can see that it's picking a white color why because the layer mask is selected over here now just click on the layer and it's going to go back to the main subject thumbnail now go down to that part and click here to sample from the color now most times when i'm doing something like this i always try to make use of the mouse because it's going to give me an accurate cycle of my color but now you really need to understand something at this point we have the darkest dark right here and different from this part so what we are going to do we are going to first of all pick this one just like that and we're going to what apply it right there and now we can come back here and pick this one then we are going to apply it right here now you can see that we have two colors you don't really need to make use of this color at once you have to make use of one and later apply the other one as the darkest color so now that we're done with the shadows all you have to do you just have to delete the layer mask and when you delete the layer mask just hit on delete not apply now go over to select color range again and this time around you want to go for the mid now when you select the mid-tones hit on ok and repeat the same process now you have only the mid-tones which you have to pick from now the mid-tones is really straightforward for you just for you to pick from so grab the mouse and the brush to now click on select again and go over to the now we we'll make a so much big mistake so this is what we do these two colors we place them on the background layer which is not really supposed to be that way now you can do some other work around but i'm just going to start this all over again in order not to waste much time so make sure that you have that layer selected and grab a brush to pick from the first color and then paint over there pick the second one and dab right there feel free to delete layer mask once you've done with all this process now go over towards select and color range now inside the color range option just select the mid tones and hit on ok now we make use of the layer mask hide it select the words first of all select the subject thumbnail and go over to the word the layers now with the brush tool again click on the mid tune and just paint right there now we have the mid tune and finally delete that again delete and select that layer go back to select and color range and lastly just select the highlights click on ok and you have the highlight right here which you can pre eyeball even before picking these colors now make use of the layer mask and just select the highlights just select the highlights select the layer and you paint it right here and now you are done with all this stuff so now you can delete the layer mask which you have right there so now that you're done with all this all you just have to do click and you drag it into your second document where you have your artwork now you can place it at the top if you, if you like you can scale it that is if you want to scale it so i'm just going to keep it right there from here you can just delete that layer if you don't need it anymore because it's really going to be at this point so now that we're done with picking colors it is time for us to start blocking in the colors now when you see our reference photo you can see that we have a black background on our reference photo now you can make use of any color of your choice but i'm going to stick to the black but first before i start applying colors if you really check across most of my artwork i always make use of a gray background why i paint before i get into the finishing level why because if i keep it on white i won't be able to know where is brighter than which part so with the gray color it's really going to help me now setting this to black my really just take out everything black out everything my own eyes which i wouldn't be able to figure out so part of this so for the black i'll be putting the black later on when i've almost finished painting the skin i want to finally work on the hair so for now i'm just going to make use of a gray background now you can create a new layer or you can fill it on this background that is if you wish to so you can just go over to your color picker and when you go over to your color picker you can just input the 80 80 80 as the 50 percent gray option or you can just take move your slider anywhere you want and pick the color that you wish to so you can make use of the paint bucket tool by going down to the gradient part and right click and select the paint bucket tool or you can just make use of the art and the backspace to fill this 
color so right now you can see that it's really dark we're not really seeing anything why because the sketch layer and the background layer is having the same color 50 percent gray and 50 percent gray so i'm just going to take this down just like this and i'm going to fill it again now we can see we can have our lay our sketch layer so now that we've done with all these the next thing you want to do is for you to start blocking in the colors now most of you if you have seen my recent art i don't make use of those black lines anymore because it's not really making any sense for me i just want to take them away but if you're making use of the black line you can skip this step and just proceed with your blocking in so if you're not making use of the black line and you wish to take away the black line this is what I always do and, and, advise, and I advise you to always do this. Now, it is difficult for most people to fill in their colors with just the brush too. So what I always do, I always make use of the paint tool to create an accurate outline. Then later on, at the ending of everything, I can fix those edges if they are really, really sharp, which I'm really going to show you how to do that. Now, to start filling the colors, all you have to do is just for you to hit the P key on your keyboard or go over to your layer pad and select the pen tool. So once you select the pen tool, you want to make a selection around the what, skin or whatever part which you really want to apply the colors from. So since I'll be working on the skin at this point first, which I really want to apply the color, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab the pen tool and now if you're working on this kind of a mode, you won't be able to get a full zoom. At this point, when you zoom in, trying to get to the bottom part of your document, you won't really be able to do that. So you just have to zoom out and try to target the lines with, with your eyes and try to apply your at your pen to. So right now, I'm just going to start making a selection.
So now once you're done with the selection with your pen tool, all you have to do, you just have to make sure that you're not making any mistake by selecting another layer, just as I'm selecting the background right now. So create a new layer above or when you create a new layer now you don't need any specific thing to make this selection you can just right click and hit on make selection or you can just make use of control plus enter to make a selection right here so now once you've done with the selection all you have to do grab a brush tool or your color picker on a new layer and just select this mid tone which you have which you just picked from the skin tool now we are not making use of the shadows and neither the dark colors of it we are just making use of the mid tone because the mid tone is always the base color of the skin before you start applying the shadows and the highlights so grab the mid tone and just hit out to those backspace or you make use of your paint bucket tool to just fill up your selection so now once you've done with this you can make use of ctrl plus d or go over to select and the select now you can see that you have an accurate paint which you have just applied so if you decide to turn off the sketch layer you can see that you have exactly the shape of your sketch layer which you just hide not too long ago so coming to the mouth and every other places i'm just going to just speed up the videos and make use of the same process to just fill up everything so once i'm done but just really i'm just going to fill up the mouth then in places of the eyes we are going to take that in a specific part of this video which i'm really going to show you how to do that so i'll just go for only the mouth right now If you find out that your sketch layer you are having some kind of mis a mistake on your sketch layer you can easily fix the sketch layer with the pen tool because it's going to create an outline just like mine i can see some kind of errors right here which i really need to fix Okay, now that I'm done, I'm just going to hit on Ctrl plus enter. Now you have to take note of something that we couldn't even pick the lips color. Well, because that is very, very easy. It's something that you can pick at any given time. So I'm just really going to adjust this and make the selection again. Now grab a brush tool and go back to your main document layer. You can pick from any part of the lips and just pick from there. Just something like this this i'm just going to use somewhere around here because i guess that is kind of like the mid tune but for now it doesn't really matter just go back to your artwork and fill it by making use of the alt plus backspace on a separate layer and now you can tweak it with the hue saturation to give you exactly what you want by hitting the control plus u on your keyboard and just using it using this method to just Tweak it in the way that you want it to be so we can make it a little bit maybe kind of like more saturated and just something like this can be fine you can just hit on okay but i think i'm going to leave this for later now you can do this if you really wish you want to do this right now so once you're done with your blocking in and filling of every part of the colors now you can proceed to next step which is the word applying of the highlights and the shadows well that's going to be for another video which we are going to take gradually which you can really understand how you can apply your shadows because i don't want to merge everything into one right now because it's going to fill up your head okay, i just want to break down the whole steps for you guys to see so that brings us to the end of this video and i hope you guys really enjoy this and make sure to save this document and just keep it to keep going with the painting step by step because i'm very sure that at the ending of this series you are going to get something that is really going to be important or that is really going to help you to paint a nice portrait so that brings us to the end of this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button not just the subscribe button ring the bell icon so that you don't miss any new tips and tricks i'll be posting every week so stay tuned and see you guys in the next video